Hello guys, welcome back to the official Owen Corporation YouTube page. Today I'm going to talk to you about one of the scariest events that ever happened to Owen YT. Why is it scary? Owen YT almost got terminated. Yes, you heard that right. And everything about this story is real. Let's begin. The story begins on May 18th, 2020. ONYT's subscriber count was at the 1000s and running its channel peacefully. The next day, a YouTuber named Yu made a video called Yu the Movie featuring Owen Corporation. In that video, he stole videos from ONYT, Fee, and Galaxy Gamer without their permission. The video he stole from ONYT was the story of what happened during the devastating Ghoul Aiden Vlogs crisis which occurred last year. Speaking of Cool Aiden Vlogs, Yu is actually the same person who ran the Cool Aiden Vlogs channel. Anyways, on the same day, I submitted a copyright complaint saying that he re-uploaded my video without permission. On May 21st, both V and Galaxy Gamer submitted their copyright complaints for the same reason. Then, YouTube removed the video and Yu got a copyright strike. Overnight, Yu decided to re-upload the video with no changes made. What the heck? Fee told me that he reposted it, and then I told Galaxy Gamer that. At first, Galaxy Gamer didn't want to strike him again, but I told him that if we keep going, he will eventually get terminated, so he decided to strike him. So, once again, ONYT Fee and Galaxy Gamer submitted their copyright takedown requests. A group of people named Anti Cyber Bullying Squad commented on Yo the movie saying, You use clips from other users without their permission. That is absolutely unacceptable and also violates YouTube's copyright policy. When Yo saw that comment, he decided to remove the video. However, that would cause trouble for ONYT. On May 23rd, YouTube responded to my takedown request saying, We are concerned that some of the information in your takedown request may be fraudulent. Please understand that YouTube receives a large number of fraudulent takedown requests and we take abuse of that process very seriously. For each video in question, please explain how you're authorized to make this claim, including supporting documentation or other evidence wherever possible. If we don't receive a detailed explanation from you within 7 days, your YouTube account may be terminated. You may be able to avoid termination if you retract your takedown request. If you wish to do so, please reply to this email with, I hereby retract my claim of copyright infringement. When I saw the response, I started to panic. Later, I was investigating why they thought my copyright takedown request seemed fraudulent to them. I discovered that the targeted video to be removed was already removed by Yu before they could take a look at the request. But if they took a look at the request before Yu removed the video, then ONYT wouldn't be at the risk of getting terminated. Also, if the anti-cyberbullying squad didn't comment on Yo the movie telling him that he's violating YouTube's copyright policy, which then made him remove the video, my takedown request wouldn't seem fraudulent. Now, I don't blame them. I honestly thought warning him about the violation was a good idea. I was happy when the video got removed, but it didn't get removed at the right time. Anyways, I replied to YouTube saying, I hereby retract my claim of copyright infringement. The video was already removed before you take a look at this request. Over the next couple of days, I continued to panic and then decided to delay video production until YouTube responds to my request to retract my copyright complaint. Finally, on May 26th, YouTube responds to my request saying, Thank you for your response. Your takedown request will not be processed. If we believe that further takedown requests represent a pattern of fraudulent submissions, we may terminate your YouTube account with no further warnings. When I saw that, I felt relieved and celebrated. But then I felt a bit <laughs> Why? Because if I submit another copyright complaint that seems fraudulent to YouTube, they might terminate ONYT without warning. I've been warned, although I didn't even do anything wrong in the copyright takedown request. ONYT resumed video production with the announcement of its upcoming Q&A video, and everything went back to normal. So that's the story of when ONYT almost got terminated. I am going to link both Fee and Galaxy Gamers channel in the description below. Go subscribe to them. Also, please like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to get the latest updates of new ONYT videos. I'll see you next time for another video. Goodbye.